Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between using the keywords by ref and by val. So those are short for by reference and by value. By default, we're using by val. You've probably noticed this. It's possible that you'd never see these keywords depending on the options that you have checked. That falls under pretty listing. Uh, if you want to know where to find that, it's under tools options, text editor basic, VB specific, and it's just this checkbox right here. So this is really what determines whether you see these or you don't. And so if you don't, then they're just there and you're going to have to take my word on that. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the two. I usually just skip right over this and that's usually okay. Um, but in this one, I'm actually going to talk about what they are and why they're there. So let's start with just an explanation of my form. Pretty simple. I've got a button and I've got a list box. That's it. Presumably the user is going to click something and something's going to get spit out to that text box. So when the user clicks the button, we're going to jump on over to this part of our code. I've created a variable of type integer with a value of 10. And the first thing I do is I, I call my sub down here. Sub's called plus one, takes an integer, passing in an integer, that should work just fine. In this case, I'm passing it ref, which is 10, so I'm passing it 10. This right here is a shorthand syntax for saying that I want to add one to whatever the variable is. The variable's 10 in this case, so now it's 11. So x is 11 locally right here. Then I'm going to print out to a list box. If you're not familiar with list boxes, this is probably pretty scary. It'll say the number is presumably 11. The more interesting part, so at this point, we print, we at the end of our sub, we jump back up to here, and I'm calling that same list box, and I'm saying the number is now whatever it is. So really, the million dollar question is, is it 10, or is it 11? So right down here, it's 11, so you'd probably think it's going to be 11 here too. Let's see. So, kind of an inter interesting situation. It says the number uh, in the sub is 11, the number is now 10. So down here it's 11, just like we said it would be. And it's 11 locally, right? Just within this procedure right here, it's 11. But as soon as we hit the end of the sub and we come up here, we and we print out ref, ref is 10, it always was 10. We passed 10 down to the sub, but we didn't return anything. If we wanted to return something, we probably should have used a function or we could use the keyword by ref right here. So by ref means we're passing, essentially it's like we're passing the variable itself down here. And anything that happens, so this variable is 10, we're passing 10 down here. And if we add or subtract or multiply or anything we would do to it, it's going to stick. At least it's the idea, right? So when we turn that 10 into an 11 here, which is going to happen, I'm telling you that when we're done here, that ref variable is now going to be 11. Hopefully. I run it and I get something like I expected. So if you want the changes in the sub or the function to be permanent, then you should be using by ref. Now in most cases, we don't really want that. There's the idea that if you want to return something, if you want to manipulate a value and get something back, then you probably should be using a function instead of a sub. That's why this discussion of by ref by val fits pretty well with subs because subs don't return anything really unless you use some kind of uh, scheme where you're doing class level variables or or uh, using the by ref. So that is how it works. Um, I hope to make another video with a better illustration of the difference of by ref and by val but uh, this is sufficient. So by default we use by val and that's why we use it because it does what we expect it to do. You start using the keyword by ref and it may or may not do what you want it to do. So thanks for watching.